Hi, my name is Colin. I'm from UK Security Cameras. This video is a guide on how to get your DVR on the network and how to remote view it using a PC or a smartphone. Once you've connected the Ethernet cable between the DVR and your router, you're ready to begin setting up the system. So using the mouse, right click and then bring up the main menu and you go to the advanced button and then select the network button. From this drop down menu here, select DHCP and what this does, this asks the router to assign an IP address to the DVR and then reboots the system. So we click apply, that saves the setting, click OK and then exit the menu and then the DVR will restart. So let this DVR restart. Once the DVR is restarted, go back into the main menu, Advanced and Network, and you'll see all the information has been filled in now by the router. IP address here, subnet mask filled in, and all the other information is filled in. Make a note of this IP address, you'll need this in the next, pro next part of the process. Yours will be different, yours will be 10 something or 192 something. Also make a note of this number, 9000 this number 80 and also this number 15961 these are the three port numbers you need to open your router in the next part of the process okay so we've we've just gone through the process of putting the DVR on the local network we had an IP address of 100025 and so we're ready to now go to the router and open some ports to allow it to talk to the outside world. Basically, when you buy a, a router by, uh, by default, they block all the ports so that no one can get into it for any hacking or virus issues. Okay, so we're going to open three ports that lets the DVR do its thing. So we're using the Netgear in this case. So we logged into the DVR. And we're going to select Advanced, Advanced Setup, and Port Forwarding. Your router may be a different manufacturer. Just have a look in the manual for Port Forwarding, and you'll find the instructions in there. With this one, we need to add three ports, port 80, port 9000, and port 15961. Port 80 is a default port for web browsing, so we can just uh, pick a service from here and we'll select HTTP, or it might say web server or web. Either way, it's port 80 by default. So in here, we'll put port 20, we'll put, uh, 25, so we've got an IP address 10.0.0.25, and then we click Add. OK, so that's port 80 done. The next port you would need to add is 9000. Now, that wouldn't be a, a preset here. It's one that a DVR uses uniquely. So we need to add a custom service. So we click on Add Custom Service. We'll call it uh, DVR port 9000. We can leave that as TCP UDP. It is actually just using TCP, but that it's, that's both, so that's fine. External starting port will be 9000, as will be the external ending port. Oops. If your router mentions internal ports, just set them all to 9000. It's just the one port we're opening on, on this, uh, this one. And again, the IP address we'll put in is uh, 100025. And then click Apply. Once that's done, you can uh, go back, open another custom service, Rename it to put DVR port 15961, or mobile port if you wish, and change all the all the numbers to 15961. I won't just I won't go through it all now, but uh, I'll just show you. Let me do it. Um, we'll do the same. That's it. There we go. And then again, 25, and click apply. That then has opened three ports on the router: port 80, port 9000, and port 15961. Now to check that, there's a very useful website. It's called YouGetSignal, so that's Y-O-U-G-E-T-S-I-G-N-A-L, YouGetSignal.com, and the first tool here is Port Forwarding Tester. Select that one. It tells you a couple of things. First of all, what your external IP address is. So that's a useful number, That make a note of that one. And also this, this function here lets you check whether your ports are actually open and working OK on your router. So this is a good way of testing you've done the last process correctly. So we'll, we'll just uh, type port 80, check it, and it'll come back with it either open or closed. If it's closed, go back to the router and try and find out what you did wrong in the last process. If it's open, test the next one, which is 9000. 
that's open and then finally check 15961 and there we go we should have all three ports open so that's it now the DVR is on the local network the router ports are open and ready to go all you need to do now is put in this IP address into your, your browser 81136158249 now that's this where I am now IP address you'll have your own pop that in the browser and you should then get straight through to your login page of your DVR put your password in and you should see your cameras live when you install the mobile app which is called KMI that's KMEYE -E, available on all the marketplaces and app stores and the mobile phone um, centers use this IP address and then insert the mobile port as 15961 and again you'll have your cameras live on your phone there we go thank you okay so the DVR is now on the network the ports are open in the router and you're ready to test it so in your, in your address bar type your IP address which in this case 81136158249 and you're taken straight through to the login page when you initially install this software uh, on your browser for the first time the browser will try and install a file, a little drop down thing here if you just go through the process allow the file to install and that will just do that once and it will never actually do it, do it again it's just a little ActiveX file that the uh, DVR needs to run so you put your password in here and then click login and then your camera's live on the computer screen here we have the playbook, playback side which is a playback window click the search and it will bring up blocks here of recordings and you can select one and hit play and uh, see a recording. There we go. One from last night.